Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to display images in Flutter. It's very simple, so this is going to be a pretty short tutorial. So here I have a single child scroll view and a column, just to avoid issues with overflowing when we display multiple images at the same time. So the first way of displaying images is from assets, or basically you put an image into your project and then you include it and you can display it. So here in the assets folder of my project i think this folder wasn't there when i created the project but then i added it later but you just add the assets folder or you can call it whatever you want actually and there you can put in your resources not just images but all the resources that will be used by your app so here we have a simple flutter image and before we can use this image we need to go to pubspec.yaml and include it so under the flutter section we can create a new section that's called assets and yes it needs to be called assets and in there we can specify the path to the asset that we're going to use so it's going to go something like assets for the assets folder slash flutter dot png and now we have included the flutter image resource but if we want to include all resources from a folder we just say the folder name and put a slash here at the end and now when I save it, it's going to run flutter packages get and we got an exit code of zero, which means that this was done successfully. All right, so in order to display an image, we would use the image widget. So let's just type it over here. And here we need to provide an image provider. And the image provider pretty much just determines from where we're getting the images we're displaying. So we're going to use the asset image provider because we're loading an asset. So let's say asset image and in here we just have to specify the path to our assets. So let's say assets slash flutter flutter dot png. Now when I save it and go to our app, here we have the flutter image. All right, but what if we want to display an image from a network? So what pretty much happens if you're getting some kind of a resource from the REST API, you get your maybe user data and then you get the URL to the profile image and then you need to display it. And that is done very similarly to asset images. So let's just copy this and not say asset image, but network image. And over here we need to put in the URL of the image. I'm just going to paste in the URL of the Dart logo. And now when I save this, go to the app and here we have the Dart logo loaded. And also I forgot to mention that in the image widget you have all sorts of stuff for pretty much uh, customizing your image. You have width, you can set it here and height. And now the image is going to be extra small. So yeah, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do over here. You can set the image repeat. So this is pretty customizable actually. And also I want to show you one other way to display these images. And it's using the factory constructor on the image class. So if we want to display an asset image, we do not have to pass in the image provider, but we can say image.asset and then just specify the asset name. Or if we want to get an image from a network, we can just say .network and then pass in the URL. Right, so here we got an exception because I misspelled the name of the asset, so we need to make sure that that is in check. And let me just press continue and now I'll restart the app. I hope that we got the path right. And now as you can see, we have the asset image, the network image, and then the asset and the network image with the factory constructors. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a basic way of displaying images in Dart and Flutter. This was, I think, a pretty short tutorial, a pretty beginner tutorial. So if you have any questions related to this, post them in the comments below or contact me on Instagram, whatever. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.